chemistry with your quarterback and as you mentioned, you know, having him count on you? Uh actually I think it's pretty good, you know. Um it, it, it kind of brings us together, you know. He he ha he trusts that I'm going to be in the spot that I'm supposed to be in, and I'm going to be in the spot that I'm supposed to be in. What do you think that next? Uh, really, I just need to keep working, you know. Um, this was just what probably like my second second third hundred yard game, the most yards I've had, you know. Since being in the league, I just need to continue working. Um, I'm sure I'm going to have way more. How important is crossing a thousand? Oh, that, that's huge. You know, um, you always come come into the season with goals, you know, um, and once you pass a goal, you know, you want to try to break that, you know, goal for next year. Um, but I mean, we got two games. We got two games left, and you know, that's trying to add on to it. You've been lining up in the slot more this year, and I think this last game maybe more so than before. Um, what do you like about lining up inside? Uh. Well, to me, it really doesn't matter. But this season, I would say I'm way more comfortable with the offense. And it's better because if the coaches are able to move you around, then you know you, you won't just be forced to be on the outside where teams can double you. Even though you can get doubled in the slot, you know, it's just easier you know, things for coaches to do if, you, if they can move a player around. Yeah. Where's the area in your own game you've seen the most growth, do you think, this year? Uh, All around, pretty much, you know, just you know, having one year under my belt this year too, and really just staying on top of my body. Um, fortunate enough to, you know, haven't missed any games, and I want to keep that going. Is, is creating separation a thing that you think you need to get better at? Because I mean, a lot of the uh, kind of catches you do make, or you're making creating an error in the last second. Catch is a catch. <laughs> you know, same. It, it really doesn't matter. Um, you're not going to get much separation in the NFL, you know. So when you say, you know, it's creating separation, the thing I need to get better at, I went seven for eight, you know. What kind of things can you guys work on offensively in these last two games? <clears throat> Just staying together. Staying together. Um, the season isn't going how we want it to at all. But build on these last two games and – pretty much just try to build for next year. I mean, that's pretty much what you, you have to do. And run up the scoreboard these last two games, you know. Um, just put up the points we know we can. You know, we show flashes, you know, a lot of good and bad. But, you know, just continue to work. What's up with a couple more guys? What's up with all the guys? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I might sign them and give them away or something. I don't know. I just keep all of them. Do they, do they all have six, like, no, nah, it's just throughout this year, camp OTAs, it, it go all the way back. Camp OTAs, uh, well, I get a new pair each week. Yeah, I got so many gloves in the back, you know. So I, 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 just, I just keep them on, you know what I'm going to do. I did it last year, and I'm like, well, I might as well just keep it going. Do you ever take them off after games and give them to fans? Sometimes, games? yeah, sometimes I do. But um, if not, then that's where they go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I might ask you about you know, getting separation if that's something you what is something like at the end of year two that you're still trying to work down? Specifically, what do you uh, think you need to get better at? Really, um, like I say, like I always say, me just continue to grow as a receiver and all around game. You know, you can't, you know, just stop working on one thing. That's like you, me saying, you know, I want to work on a slant, and so I'm going to stop working on the fade, you know, stuff like that. So I'm going to just keep hitting, you know, each thing and, you know, just. Look forward and you know, like set new goals each year, and you know, try to break some records or something like that. Uh, just keep working, you know, you know. Um, some games I didn't have a lot of catches or yards, and that's fine, you know. I I wasn't using that game, you know, but we still won. So you know, it, you know, it got its pros and cons, but you know, I'm definitely, I definitely think I'm, you know. Up, up there with some of the good receivers. You know, I just got to con keep continue to keep working. Um, I'm still young. You know, this is my second year, and you know, I'm de I'm definitely I definitely feel like I'm able and capable of doing what all those guys are doing. 
Um, well, of course, I wasn't expecting to be by myself, you know. Um, so that, that plays a factor in it as well. So, you know, you got to think I was with two other guys. One got left and now it's, you know, just two of us. And then he gets injured and now it's just me. So it, it, it's different. So, you know, the goals that I did set, I, I kind of, you know, you know, blew those out the water, um, which is good, which is good, you know, found me. Um, like I just said, it just gives these coaches an opportunity to see what I can do by myself with not the help of other guys around me. So when, you know, when Golden does get trained, you know, Marvin does get trained, do you adjust your goals in some ways? That, nah, that nah, I, I, I don't adjust my goals. I just continue working the way I'm working, knowing that, I have to make plays, you know, it's obvious. I got to make more plays now, and that's pretty much it. You know, come to work every day like I come to work and get ready for Sunday. Oh, those goals for me, you know. <laughs> that, that, those personal goals, though. Um, you know, I, I really don't share them with nobody, um, not even my mom. No. <laughs> but, <laughs> but um, yeah, just personal goals for me. But like I said, I did, you know, not even, I'm saying blow the goals out the water, but not really because I'm still setting the bar half myself. So as long as I just keep setting higher, you know, each year I want to do better than what I did last year. Do you feel like it's been a great opportunity for you and Matthew to really kind of work on connecting in chemistry, even though you guys were building on that this year? Most definitely. Um, I feel like it was huge. If this is where you're at, you know, year two, like, what do you think you do three or four? Like, how high is this? Uh, uh, the sky's the limit, even for our offense, you know. Um, we're going to keep, we're all going to keep building. And continue to work. That's what it's all. That's what it's going to take. It's going to take you know coming to work every day. You know, um, not you know staying on the game we won. We got to you know put that to bed. Um, then get ready for the next opponent. You know, so we're going to put this loss to bed and get ready for Minnesota. Uh, I mean it, it, it's a lot of reasons, but. You know, that's pretty much just in-house stuff. You know, we're just going to keep it in-house. But, um, like I said, we got two more games left. We're just going to, you know, try to build on for next year. You set a pretty high one more guys this year for, you know, future years, I guess. I mean, if, if you are, you know, two, if you do have one or two other, you know, sidekicks, I guess, uh, is that <laughs> still an attainable number going forward? I mean, whatever this is going to be. Uh, uh, change when you have ne ne never a sidekick. You know, 11 still here. Um, and that's my dog, and I would never call him a sidekick, and I'm sure he wouldn't call me a sidekick. Um, I meant that. It's more like Batman, <laughs> Batman and Superman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do they like fight with each other occasionally? No, nah, that was only one on one movie. <laughs> <laughs>